Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Stefano Bernardini and in this video we will talk about uh, connecting Azure Service Bus. Let's go! Okay, uh, so uh, Azure Service Bus is part of Microsoft Azure uh, that is a, a fully managed enterprise message broker with message queue and published subscribe topics in a namespace. Uh, with Newsoft uh, you can use uh, the Azure Service Bus connector. Uh, so uh, now uh, we take a look at uh, a pre, uh, simple scenario. a free scenario, there is a simple one, uh, the classic competing consumer pattern and the broadcasting scenario. We already see, uh, saw in the previous uh, tutorial. Uh, so uh, let's start uh, with the simple scenario. In this scenario we have uh, uh, a publisher that sends a message to, the, to a queue and uh, a consumer that listen the message from uh, this uh, queue. Okay, I just created this uh, uh, new new soft uh, project. Uh, I will uh, commit uh, this project uh, in my GitHub. You, will, you can find my GitHub uh, the link uh, in, the, in the description. Uh, so uh, I need uh, to create uh, uh, an Azure service bus messaging connector configuration. Uh, you can uh, simply uh, add uh, this uh, connector here uh, in the POM XML or uh, search in the exchange. I simply uh, search for Azure and there is uh, uh, Azure Service Bus connector. Okay, I simply add. Okay, uh, now I, I need uh, to create uh, an Azure Service Bus conne uh, connection. Uh, I uh, already set up uh, a placeholder for every uh, configuration uh, uh, the connector re requests me. Uh, so uh, I need an space, a tenant ID, client ID, and secret. Okay. Uh, so let's uh, uh, move on the uh, configuration YAML. I already set up a configuration property that uh, um, link to the dev YAML. And here I have uh, my um, my YAML with uh, all the configuration. I need uh, to enter the namespace tenant ID, client ID, and secret as I said before. So let's move uh, on uh, Azure. Okay, uh, this is my new Azure um, my Azure portal. So I need to create uh, a new service bus. So I simply uh, click service bus and I create a new service bus. Uh, resource name uh, I can simply uh, select uh, uh, I already create a resource uh, so I need to create an instance of service pass inside this uh, subscription uh, it's a one month free trial the subscription uh, so I need simply to uh, insert a new namespace name uh, uh, for example uh, the, my my name Stefano one okay with uh, uh, Europe is fine uh, and I select uh, um, for, uh, for now I think uh, the uh, the standard one okay because in the standard there is uh, uh, there is topic and there is also queue okay uh, so uh, I uh, create uh, Stefan one uh, service bus windows.net is my uh, name face okay Perfect. So now I have my first information that is uh, Stefano One. Okay. So Stefano One is the namespace. Now I need the tenant ID. Uh, for the tenant ID, I can go uh, in the um, Active Directory. Okay. And uh, this is the tenant ID. So I simply uh, copy and paste the tenant ID. Okay and I uh, copy and paste here okay now I need uh, uh, to create a new uh, application uh, in order to receive the client ID and client secret okay so I search for app registration I need to create a new application so just a new registration uh, for example mule client one I don't know and uh, uh, single tenant, multi tenant, okay, multi tenant, it's okay. Uh, so register, okay. Uh, okay, so this this is my uh, application ID. 
okay uh, I simply uh, copy and paste here and uh, I need uh, the um, I need the uh, secret ID so I just uh, uh, click on uh, client credential and I uh, add a new client secret okay uh, for example uh, mute client mute client secret and uh, okay one years will be fine and this is uh, my uh, the value of the client secret okay value okay perfect okay I, I forgot to to create uh, the service bus because uh, if you go here create uh, Azure one uh, Stefano one uh, and uh, standard uh, the, the, the button say review plus create so you have to review and create uh, and then pick this button very important don't forget it okay now the deployment of the service bus is in progress I forgot to press the create because review and create only do review and after if you press create they will create okay let's check the, the simple scenario I already create a, a get simple listener that send a queue to, uh, uh, to enter Azure service bus uh, let's uh, uh, recreate let's create uh, the correct queue so uh, this uh, uh, this service uh, send a message to a queue and the message listener uh, take the message from the, this queue so let's create the queue uh, let's go back uh, to uh, the service bus okay this is my service bus uh, let's go to the queue and create the queue I, uh, the queue name is uh, uh, simple q1 okay I can uh, uh, configure uh, all this stuff uh, but uh, for my scenario uh, I simply uh, uh, create okay so the name of the queue is a simple q1 okay so I take this uh, and I place it here and there okay and check if everything is okay let's run the project uh, as you can see this is the the log uh, it's just sent and the correlation id and here uh, it's the name of the flow flow one and received uh, a message that i received the, the, the message okay so let's check if everything uh, it's okay uh, if you know okay they say to me that uh, the other uh, queue uh, in the other flow is not uh, present so let's uh, create uh, all, all the flow uh, I can uh, simply maybe rename in this, this way okay I don't know if uh, a good choice but I need uh, to don't uh, take a look uh, at the other flow okay and for the moment I need only this so let's check uh, if everything is okay as I, as I say so I need to send a message to this uh, uh, to this uh, uh, endpoint okay deployed uh, oh, I don't have any uh, ah, unauthorized perfect because uh, we can uh, use that in server to uh, to address this problem okay okay in order to solve the authorization problem uh, we have to go we need to go to the uh, Azure service bus okay Stefano one uh, we need to go to the access control hey am hey uh, am and uh, go here to the uh, to the role assignment we need to add uh, a new uh, role and assign to the mule soft client 
uh, the role assignment, uh, uh, the role name is uh, bus, uh, Azure Service Bus Data Owner. Okay, uh, so let's click here and the next uh, uh, select member. Uh, I think I call it uh, Mule something, uh, Mule, Mule Client One. Okay, uh, okay, select and uh, uh, review and sign. Okay, perfect. Okay, so let's rerun uh, the, the exercise. Uh, okay. Okay, we are almost ready. So we need to invoke the simple, okay, on port uh, HTTP. Okay. We are ready, okay. As you can see, we send the message and uh, we receive the message. Again, we send the message, we receive the message. Okay. Let's move now on the second scenario, the competing consumer pattern scenario. In this scenario, we have a publisher that sends message to the queue and we have two consumers that uh, competes uh, uh, to consume the message. Only one consumer uh, received the message. Uh, so let's go back uh, to the um, new soft uh, Anypoint Studio. Okay, uh, so let's uh, rename here. Uh, let's stop it. Let's rename uh, this one. Uh, team. Not the fact when rename. Okay. So this, this is the competing scenario. Okay. Uh, we have uh, uh, a message, uh, an HTTP listener and that send a, a message to this queue. And we have uh, two uh, listener that, that computes for this message. Uh, we need to create uh, uh, a queue in order to, uh, to get the message for this uh, scenario. Uh, in the previous scenario, we call the queue simple q1 uh, we can call it uh, complete uh, q1 so let's go back to the azure uh, service bus uh, we create uh, another queue in order to not be in conflict uh, with the other we call it uh, uh, complete uh, q1 okay let's create it and let's put this queue here here, here, and here. Okay. Uh, let's run the message. Uh, let's run the the project. Uh, as you can see, in this logger, I have uh, uh, sbus compute one, and here I have sbus uh, uh, compute two. Okay. So now I have to invoke. Uh, uh, this time I have to invoke uh, the compete uh, web service uh, when I'm ready. Uh, so uh, when uh, the uh, the service is ready, we can see we will see that uh, if I send a message to the queue, the first time uh, the consumer B and then the consumer A, consumer B and consumer A. I, I don't I'm, I'm not sure if it's uh, round robin, but uh, uh, if uh, only one get the message, okay. Okay, let's run uh, compete one. Okay, compete one again, compete one again, compete one again, compete two. Okay, so it's not run robin, compete two. Okay, we have this all this message that is uh, uh, rumor, uh, noise, that is noise. Uh, we can simply uh, uh, avoid this message in the log uh, for J, log for J in order to set this message warning. Uh, so let's uh, redo again. Compete one, compete two. So it's not round robin, but it's uh, the competing pattern. Pattern is okay. In the last scenario, we have the broadcasting scenario. We have uh, still have uh, one producer that send message to the queue. Uh, they send a message uh, and we need uh, two consumer the uh, every, every every consumer must receive the, the message so this time uh, we have to use the topic uh, so the producer send uh, a message to the topic uh, 
uh, every queue we have two queues uh, every queues must subscribe to this topic and then uh, the consumer receive the message from the, the, the queue queue A and queue B okay let's go back to the um, to the endpoint studio I already rename it so I have an HTTP listener with topic that send a message to our topic and uh, uh, I have two, uh, two subscriber that receive the message from uh, uh, that subscribe to that topic and receive the message so we need to create a topic and two message two, uh, two queues so uh, let's first create a new topic uh, we have uh, we are here at the topics okay service bus and then topics we can call it uh, uh, broad uh, topic one okay this is the name of the first topic we create okay so let's rename it uh, to broad topic one and then uh, i want you uh, queue i want uh, the this is the q1 okay i want for example uh, q broad q1 and the broad q2 okay so i need to create this queue uh, okay, so I need to create here broad Q1. Okay, and uh, broad Q2. Okay, okay, perfect. Uh, now I need uh, to create the subscription uh, of this uh, uh, topic uh, to the to the queue. So I go to the topic. I go to my to my broad topic one. And I go to the uh, subscription page. Okay, let's create a new subscription. Uh, uh, the name of the subscription is uh, uh, sub, uh, for example, sub one. Uh, you can create uh, your own uh, uh, your own uh, name. Okay, so this is the name of the uh, subscription, and uh, I need to set this uh, for my forward message to Q topic. So uh, I want that uh, I want to subscribe. Uh, uh, I want to send the message to this queue. Okay, sub one, and then I create another subscription that I call it uh, sub two, for example. And I want uh, that uh, that uh, this uh, subscription uh, forward the message to the uh, broad queue two. Okay. So. Uh, I send a message to the topic uh, uh, broad topic one and I create a subscription uh, in order to get the message from this topic one uh, to the Q, uh, Q1 okay so let's uh, let's uh, uh, rerun to understand if everything is it's okay uh, this time uh, every time I send a message uh, I will receive the, the same message uh, on both the queue okay if it goes well okay let's uh, see if everything is okay okay I think the HTTP endpoint is topic okay so I sent uh, this message and I receive both on Q1 and Q2 okay let's uh, uh, okay the, the same topic 1 topic 2 the Q1 and Q2, okay. Q1 and Q2. Last time, Q1, Q2. Okay, perfect. That's all for now. Uh, please, if you like my video, subscribe to my channel and see you to the next video. Bye.